are you looking outside the region more than you are inside, or what, what's your outlook? Uh, we've we've always looked uh, outside the region, um, and uh, definitely in the short term, we have a lot of new markets that are growing more rapidly than the growth is here. Where, where, um, where are the hot markets outside of the region? Just uh, so, uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, for example, is an area that we are uh, uh, leading in quite a lot. We've had a very long historic presence across North Africa, and over the last couple of years, we've got a big push south. Uh, so and, and who are the paymasters in these markets? Is it development banks or private uh, sector? No, typically it is it is the government agency. Government direct. So again, what, what you have to look at, and, and talking about the point that Well made in terms of the sustainability of the project, and what is the source of revenue of that paymaster? Mm. And the issue is, what this does, it weeds out projects which uh, are white elephants at the end of the day and are not sustainable. And so you have a lot of projects out there when you, the first thing you do in a PP is say, okay, how, what is the economics of our client? What are, where are they getting their revenue from to enable them to pay us? And quite often, you know, you ask that question and you see things don't add up. You say, well, thank you very much, but please sort that out before you even start on what a project. How much information can you get? So, I, I, you know, banks, uh, uh, when I've spoken with Mashrek, say before, mm -hmm. they, some of the advice is, understand your paymaster, where's the money coming yeah. from? How transparent is that process? Actually, the banks are, are the most helpful in that because it's, we, we often use our good friends, uh, the banks, as the excuse <laughs> to say, the bank needs, needs to know, yeah. how are you going to okay. sustain this? What, what, are, what are the economics of how this is going to work?